Good morning. I've just got to the yard. And um, I've got a lot to do up here today. Um, I'm just going to make the feeds while I chat to you. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got a lot to do up here today. Um, I want to sort through all my rugs. Um, dogs barking at something. Uh, excuse me, what? Hmm. Um, yeah, I want to sort through all my rugs. I want to sort through the tack room. Um, I just want to give it like a general New Year's clean up. Um, all of these freezers are filled with rugs and so are those three big tub truck things um i don't need that many rugs i just need like one maybe two in each way for barns and then i'll keep a couple back for moose and then boris has obviously only got like his two rugs so yeah that's my plan today i've got a lot to do um we've got up the yard she is sweeping <laughs> um but yeah, so I'm just going to feed the boys and get them out. Um, and then that will make my life a lot easier when they're out of the way. <laughs> gone out to the field um so i'm just going to walk you through what i need to do so this stable is eventually going to be a livery stable um so i'm basically using it as storage at the moment um hay isn't usually stored up here because it's literally in that first barn um so i can just go and grab it but it's just because it's been christmas we've been storing it here um so i need to find somewhere for bedding to go and like we'll and stuff like that um i clearly need to sweep the yard and then I'm going to muck out the stables and I think they need decobbing as well. Like while I'm here cleaning, I may as well just do that. That's grim. Um, and then the tack room definitely needs sorting out. Like I said, um, I'm planning on getting a livery at some point and it's just full up of my stuff. And my stuff is everywhere. Like it doesn't need to be like it is. Oh, hello there. <laughs> um... And then I need to sort out my grooming area and fill those because Sean brought those down the other day. Um, so I need to fill those up and then sort out all these trunks and all these freezers because they're all full of rugs that I 100% don't need. So, yeah, a lot to do. Let's crack on, haven't we, little one? Let's get you out of there first things first. Put you in your little chair. problem um i'm gonna get rid of pretty much all of these to be honest i'm gonna take pictures of them sell them and then i'm gonna put that money and the money that i got for christmas and my birthday together and i'm probably gonna buy like a liner set um i know like rambo do some i think premier equine do some um and then just buy a set so i've literally got like an outer turnout an outer stable and then i can just get like, three or four liners and that's it there'll be like six rugs in total done boom and I won't have all of that. Because literally they just sit at the bottom of a freezer. I forget I have them. So they don't get used. Um, yeah. So my plan now is to sort through all of this. I've got loads of like little hoods and snuds and stuff like that in there. So they're all going to go in one of those boxes. Fly rugs and stuff can also go in one of those. And then the rest can, yeah, have pictures and be sold. Hallelujah. So. I think... I'm going to have 
have the bin for hoods and bodysuits. Okay, so to go through rubs. Sale ones can go over there. All the ones that I'm keeping can go there. Ooh, I'm still broke. There we go. Okay, so I've sorted everything into piles. This is the pile I'm selling. This is the pile I'm potentially keeping. I'm not really sure I need to go back through it. And in there is all like bodysuits and hoods and stuff like that. So first things first, I'm going to go through this pile, I think, of what I'm going to sell and take pictures of those and get them loaded up onto horse community. We have got a hungry little princess. She can go back in her snowsuit and then she'll go sit back in her seat and she's pretty good really she'll just sit there and watch won't you my mummy does what she's got to do uh oh they've just realized i'm still here i'd best go and shut all the doors so they can't go and eat all of that all right puppet he's like mum what are you doing it's not time to come in yet. He's realised I might try and get him in. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> Hello, Harry Beast. He's like, no, Mum, I don't want to come in. I'm not coming to get you, buddy. i just come to say hey. You're going to have a quick drink. Look how hairy he is. <laughs> <clears throat> so now I'm thinking fly rugs and fly masks and stuff in one and then fleeces in the other. So We've got two heavy turnouts, one with the neck, one without. Um, two medium turnouts, again, one with the neck, one without, and a lightweight. And then in this side, I've got a stable rug, and then there are Boris's rugs. So I've literally got myself like six or seven rugs now. Um, and then over here, I've just got to take pictures of those, but these are all the ones that I'm selling those and then in these I've got fleece
pieces, fly rugs and cooling rugs to wear in the field. And they're all like his hoods and bobby suits. So I think I've done pretty well narrowing it all down. So I'm now gonna sit down for five minutes um, and put all those online. I'm gonna make myself a chasimo. Um So handy having that hair, I love it. And eat myself some Christmas mini cheddars. Um, yeah, in the hope that all those rugs sell. Fingers crossed. So rug area is all nice and tidy. Feed area is all swept and all nice and tidy. And then I've just sorted out a little grooming space. So we've got cross ties here and here. So like Barnes stands pretty much where the tripod is really. Um, and then all my grooming stuff's up there. Got a bit of an obsession. <laughs> um, and then, oh. Nothing much in that drawer, but then this drawer I've got like my gloves, a bed watch, um, spurs, all stuff like that. So now it's time to tackle this. Ugh, even starting here. It's great. with those boxes because they're all bandages and I haven't used anything since obviously last time I cleaned because I'm in riding um, and the same in there they're all boots um, and I don't really want to go through them because I don't want to have to think oh I might need to sell some of these because I've got a bit of an obsession like this is literally full of boots 
Anyway, the tack room is now complete, which is so exciting. I managed to get loads done today, which is super exciting. Um, we're starting to lose light now. Sun's going down and I really need to get clear home and get her fed and then give her a bath. So I'm probably, I've still got to do like this area. I still want to decorb up all the stables. So I'm going to continue this tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'll see you then. Hiya. Happy, I don't know what day it is. New Year's Eve, I don't know actually what day it is. Friday? I don't know. Anyway, happy Friday. Um, here we are, day two of yard clean. So quick recap from yesterday. Oh, all the rugs are ready to go. Oh, baby Kelly, yeah. <laughs> um, I got all of my grooming area tidy, feed and rug area nice and tidy, and the tack room is looking beautiful. So all I've got to do now is I want to decobweb all the stables and then sort out that end stable just so I'm not going to move anything out of there yet. I just want to tidy it all up so it's ready for me to move stuff out when we get someone in. Um, and then I think I'm going to chuck up the muck heap. And that's about all I've got left to do today. done. I've decobwebbed and now I'm just going to make myself oh, oh. a cup of tuna. Um, right, milk's in. This is literally the best thing I ever could have brought up here. And I'll just put this water in it because obviously we don't have water and Sean's told me that I probably shouldn't get it out of the water but all right while that's doing that i'm gonna go to the stable for a wee sorry let's have a lovely uh cappuccino to get the jobs done hey mate oh you can't have this oh see you then <laughs> Um, it's like a little coffee shop up here. Got my, got my coffee, got my mini cheddars. Um, so I think the only job now that I really want to get done oh, those, is um, the mock heap. That's about it. I think everything else is done and tidy. I've done the stables now. Oh, let me show you around. Table, all my mucking out tools and stuff, hay, bedding. And spare feed. <clears throat> um, so I've tied it up and I've decobwebbed in here because hopefully, like I said, we'll be getting livery. So hay doesn't usually be stored here because um, <clears throat> it's just in the barn just down the road. Not down the road, down the lane. Hang on, I'll show you. That barn just there. That one. Um, anyway, hay is stored in there, so I don't actually usually store it here. So that's not a problem. Bedding, I'm going to put by the feed and obviously feed and stuff. We'll go by the feed and this stuff will go by the muck heap. Um, I've decobwebbed all in here. I've decobwebbed all in here. So, yeah, the plan is the bedding can just sit along there. Um, but I don't really fancy lugging it now. And by the time we get a new person, I'll probably have a new delivery. So, all good. Yeah, I'm just going to drink my coffee, have some mini chillers and then do the muck heap. And I really can't think of anything else that I need to clean and, and do. Apart from the ponies, they're disgusting.
good. Maki is finito. Oh, let's get back in. I'm tired now. So there we go. That's my little pre-New Year yard clean done. Um, I don't know what the footage is like. I haven't watched any of it back yet. And I have been using a new tripod with this little remote thing. So I don't know how many times I've pressed the button at the wrong time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to thumbs up and put a little comment in the section below. And if you're new around here and haven't done so already, then please do subscribe and turn on your notifications to get notified whenever new vlogs are uploaded. So thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Bye.